Real quick, we're gonna go over a few things. Um, right now we're doing static timing. So if you were to install a new distributor and you had no idea where it was at as far as position of the distributor, um, static timing would help you get it exactly where you need. So fire order 1432. Number one is gonna be the far back right. Front uh, right is your number two. Back left is your number three. Uh, this side towards us is number four, all right? It's important to know the firing order because if you don't have the spark plugs hooked up to the correct position on the distributor, it's not gonna fire in the order it's meant to. It's not gonna run, it's not gonna do anything. All right, so number one cylinder spark plug is right here. So if you were a top dead center, which this one has just one notch on the pulley, um, you'd be pointing right here. All right, in order to, to static time, you can take this tool, um, attach it to the negative side of your coil, the same that the distributor is connected to, and touch it to any ground. It might be a little hard to see, but as soon as you hit uh, top dead center for the number one, you're gonna see the light turn on. But right now we're gonna turn on the ignition. Don't start it. When you turn the sucker, it's top dead center, the light should come on. Bam, it's on. All right. So that's static timing. You gotta turn the ignition on. Once, once that notch is up there in line with the case half and uh, the distributor is pointed at the number one spark plug, another way to tell no crap that the uh, number one cylinder is top dead center is you're gonna have play and both the exhaust and the intake valves. All right, that's playing right there for the intake, but this is not moving. So it's just gonna be an example.